What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this exercise, we're going to add 3D reinforcement elements and 2D reinforcement detail components to our concrete section. So this is our concrete section. So the name is basement footing. So it is always good to generate or to create your detailed views from a 3D model. So it is not a good practice to import an AutoCAD drawing and then use it as your detailed drawing. Okay, so now, so the first thing that we will be doing is we're going to add 2D reinforcement detail components to this uh, concrete section. Okay, so let's do this. So since we're going to put 2D, let's go to the annotate tab. So here, you'll be able to see all the 2D tools that you can use for the annotation of your view. Okay, so let's start with the detail panel. So here from this drop down, so I'll be looking for uh, detail components. So I'm going to select this one. And then from the properties, I'm going to change this. So I'll be looking for reinforcement bar elevation uh, 16. This one, I'm going to select, just click this one. And then we are going to place it here. So for some reason, I can't see the the preview of my uh, reinforcement bar. So that's all right. I'm just going to press space bar to rotate the selected bar. And then I'm just going to uh, place it somewhere here. So once I click, you, you can now see it. And then just select your modify. Okay. So now I'm going to change the distance of this. So this is just a 2D element. So I can click this and then there's your temporary dimension. Just click that one. So let's say I'm going to take uh, 50 as a distance. And then I'm going to pull this up all the way here. Okay. So now I want to cover this excess uh, detail element by my break line. So I'm going to select the break line here. And then I'm going to select bring to front to cover that one up okay right so the next thing that i'm going to do is uh let us insert another component here so let's select this one so reinforcement bar 10 to 25 uh, number 16 so i'm gonna select this and then i'm gonna place it somewhere here like that and then modify Okay, so now I'm going to select this. Again, I'm going to change the distance here. So let's say this one's 50. And then for this one, I'm going to change this to uh, 150. There you go. Okay, and then I'm just going to modify still this uh, detail component. So I select this one. And then from the instance properties, you can change this. Uh, you can change its L1 and L2 value. So for the L1, I'm going to make that 300. For the L2, I'm going to make that 1,200. And then apply. There you go. Okay. Now that is a detail component. So this time, I'm going to show you how to add a repeating detail component. Okay. So just make sure you have all the 2D families loaded into your project. Okay, if it is not, you can always load it. So I'm going to click the drop down arrow here. So I'm going to select repeating detail components. So just click that one. Okay, and then for the type, as you can see, it's only um, CMU. Right? But that's all right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this one. So I'm going to select edit type. I'm going to select here duplicate and then I'm going to change the name. So let's say I'm going to call this number 16M at or just all caps 300 mm. Oh, let's see. Okay, then I select here. Okay. And then for the details, so we need to select here the family that we would like for this one. So I want the the enforcement bar section view so section number 16 so i select that one and then for the layout here so instead of fixed distance i'm gonna make that uh, maximum spacing and then for the spacing here just change that to 300 and then i'll select here okay there you go all right and then i'm gonna select here peak lines to place now my repeating detail component with an offset distance of 20. Okay, and then I'm going to place it here. There you go. And then I'll just select your modify. 
right okay so again um i'll just select this one and then bring to front i should have done that later after i finish all of this anyway i'm gonna select these three components select click one and then hold control and then click the other elements to select these elements at this at, at the same time and then we are going to mirror this to the other side so after you select these three detail items so you can use uh, mirror pick axis just click that one and then you can click now the vertical line here just like that and then select modify again let's just click this and then bring to front there you go All right so these are all 2D elements. So we can only see that here in this view on our basement footings uh, view. Now, we are going to add 3D reinforcement elements parallel to our footing. Okay, so let's do this. So from this structure, I'm going to select here rebar. Okay, I'll just select here okay. Okay, so now here in this option, so I'll be looking on... Uh, placement orientation so for the placement orientation i'm going to select parallel to work plane okay so i'm going to select that one and then for the type of rebar i'm gonna use 16m rebar okay and then for the shape you can change the shape here you can click that and then you can see the options on the shapes so i'll just use m00 okay and then i'm just gonna place it here just above the footing so click this is 3d element and then i'll just select here modify okay so if you can't see that just make sure change your detail level to uh fine okay so if ever there's something wrong you can't see your 3d elements or sometimes it's showing as a single line so if you want to see that in 2d or 3d view make sure you change your detail level to fine okay now um we are going to modify the concrete cover settings of the footing so how to do that so i'm gonna select my footing here and then from the instance property so we have rebar cover bottom face so i'm gonna change this one instead i'm gonna use cast against earth 75 mm so once i select that and then i select here apply notice what happens so notice that the reinforcement moves up to accommodate the revised cover requirement of the footing element okay so that's it so now the next thing that we will be doing is we're going to add 3d reinforcement elements perpendicular to the footing so a while ago we create a parallel right so we created a reinforcement element parallel to the footing so this time so we are going to add 3d reinforcement elements perpendicular to the footing okay so let's do this so let's go to the structure i'm gonna select here uh, rebar and then again let's change the placement orientation so this time we will be using perpendicular to cover so let's click this that one okay we will still be using 16m and then uh, we are going to change the placement here so this one so I'm gonna change this to maximum spacing and then for the spacing here so layout rule maximum spacing and then for the spacing option so I'm gonna make it uh, 300 300 okay all right so as you can see that's now the preview okay so aside from that um you can also place first your rebar and then you can change the settings okay so just like this one so i'm going to modify to terminate it so i'm going to select here rebar and then for the placement just make sure it's perpendicular to cover and it's 16m so i can just change this one so a while ago this is like uh i think that one is fixed number and then quantity is one so i can just place it here let's say uh, somewhere here so i'll just pick one there you go and then i'll select here modify okay 
but you can also select this like for example you want to include this one so i'm gonna select this i'm gonna hold control and then i'm going to select the perpendicular rebar and then let's change the settings the rebar set so instead of single i'm gonna make that uh, maximum spacing with the spacing of 300 okay and then i'll just select here apply there you go okay so automatically it will now be uh, updated okay so now the next thing is we are going to change the footing properties so i'm gonna select the footing here and then for the instance properties i'm gonna change the width so let me just move this away so i'll change the width to 1500 and then for the thickness uh, 450 for example and then i'll select here okay all right and then what you notice so notice that the reinforcement automatically adjusts itself to the revised footing size okay so now the next thing that i'm going to show you is we're going to view our 3d reinforcement elements in various uh, views so if ever you can see this uh, reinforcement bars in your 3d view so you need to modify the properties of these reinforcement bars so how to do that so i'm gonna click this reinforcement bar the perpendicular and then this uh, parallel reinforcement bar so click this and then hold control to select both so we are selecting the 3d elements and then after that from the instance properties you need to go to the graphics view visibility states and then just select your edit so here just make sure you check the 3d view of your footing rebar so just tick that one and then after that you're ready to go so just select okay all right and then the next thing is i'm gonna mirror this to the other side while i'm already selecting it so i'm gonna select mirror i'm gonna pick this pick and then pick here to mirror to the other side and then if you want to make sure just edit again while these two elements are selected edit and then make sure it's thick here so that when you go to the 3d view you can see it you can see it okay and then just check the 3d view so we have the uh, footing rebar and there you go so you can see that again um you can change your detail level to fine to see that in 3d there you go then you can change the visual style let's say shaded view and there you go you can see now your rebars in your 3d view there you go right so that's it for this uh, simple exercise of learning how to add reinforcement uh, bars or reinforcement elements and detail components so hopefully you learned something from this video thank you for watching guys have a nice day